Hey! Are we live? We are live right now. What up, y'all? What's up, Air One Radio fam? This is David. And I'm Tiffany. Are you sure you're not David and I'm Tiffany? What's up, for the <laughs> <laughs> We are super excited to be hanging with you all today. Um, this is that awkward part in like the beginning of a live where we try and like wait for everyone else to like jump yeah, in. Yeah, like are people gonna join us? Like, are people even gonna rock up? But right <laughs> now I wanna say hey to Jeremy. Jeremy, what's, what's up? up? Jeremy. Dana Rose is watching right yes. now. So, so cool. Okay, to tell the people who we are. Okay, so if you don't know, David and I are part of Elevation Rhythm. Wait, what is Elevation Rhythm? That is a great question. It kind of sounds like a boy like dance group. Yeah, like we're not like a stomp team. We're not like at your youth group. <laughs> no, Elevation Rhythm really is just like, it's um, the next expression of worship coming out of Elevation Church. I'm sure if you haven't yet heard of Elevation Rhythm, you definitely or probably have heard of Elevation Worship, right? Um, which is our older sibling is what we like We're kind to of the him. little brother of Elevation we Worship. We are. I'm glad that you said that, you know, because I feel like, like I'm your older brother and like you're my little sister. Yes. And so, um, anyway, what's up, everyone? Thank you so much for joining us. us. Yeah, say, say hey. What's up, Sue, Jerry, awesome, Lydia, Melissa, Susan. This is awesome. We're so glad you guys joined us. We just want to worship with you guys for a few minutes. Yeah, we will. On we'll this you Wednesday. Know, you know, um, but before we do that, like, if you have any questions, let us know in the chat, like, Worship Wednesdays are just an incredible opportunity, not just, you know, for us to just get on lives and to just kind of sing a song and then say, peace out was great, you know, being with you, but we really want to make sure that we're connecting through mm -hmm. the internet, that, you know, like, like we're, we're answering any questions that you might have, but also that like we're giving a time and a chance for us to be able to have community yeah. together, you know, because I don't know about you guys, but 2020 was so difficult for so many people. You know, so many people felt just so isolated and for alone. Sure. And yet we have beautiful platforms like this one and opportunities where yeah. we get to come together and really just like stay connected, uh, not just like physically, but spiritually as For well. Sure. So um, let us know like as, we, as we're as worshiping later on today, like give us like any prayer requests that you might have because we yes. want to stand together and pray with you. But also if you have any weird questions, like here's a weird one, <laughs> Tim, um, Tiffany, what is your favorite fast food my favorite fast food favorite fast food oh my word honestly taco bell i did oh. not expect you to I say had a that phase. i had a taco bell you had a taco bell if, if you agree with tiff put it in the chat <laughs> put it in the chat tell people what your favorite fast food is <laughs> okay firstly you're making fun of my accent I, so, I wish i had it no i'm not making fun so for anyone who doesn't realize um i am from south africa um, I lived there for almost my whole life. My wife and I moved in, uh, moved to the United States of America in 2017. Mm -hmm. So I still kind of have a little bit of my accent, but sometimes um, I kind of lose it at times. So you'll hear it. But my favorite fast food is actually McDonald's. How many times a week do you eat there? Tiff, why are you putting me, <laughs> like, why are you putting my business you out there? let the people know. Okay, I eat McDonald's about six times a week. It is I'm six, a six times a week. Okay, we've got some questions coming Let's in. Let's do it. Um, so are you guys originally from North Carolina? Jamie is asking. Well, that was a great question. I think I just answered that for me. Uh, I am not. I'm from Pennsylvania originally. Moved here about also like three and a half years ago. Wow. So, yeah. Really, really cool. Let's see uh, what else someone else is saying. Um, hello from Oakland. What's up? Uh, someone says, can you sing Sea of Victory? Um, David said... Fast food and Tiff said fast food. Fast food. <laughs> <laughs> someone says their favorite one is Five Guys, oh, In and Out. Ooh. Really, really cool. Um, someone asked, when did we release IYK? YK? Well, great question. That is our newest release as That Elevation is our Rhythm. brand new, new I think we might release. have to sing it tonight. Should we do it right now? I think we should sing it. So, what, it right when now. did we release it though? That's a great question. I think we released it like two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. So, it's brand new. It's our latest song. Mm -hmm. And it's just. All about if you know who you don't know how you don't have to know what. There we go. Sorry, it's, why are you talking? I'm just grabbing my acoustic right now. Okay? He left me all alone just to <laughs> hang out with you guys. It's fine. <laughs> Say hi to a few more people. What's up, Paige? What was the inspiration for IYK? So yes, 
actually David's wife preached a message at our youth conference that we have every year. That was actually called IYKYK. If you know, you know. And so the whole the whole premise of it is really like you don't know half you don't have to know what when you know who. Mm-hmm. So, and when you know who, you want to tell everybody else about it. Mm-hmm. So that's really the heart behind it. Yeah, the heart really came from um, just like the story of Moses when you know he's trying to kind of ask God, like, well, what am I supposed to tell the people of? Of Israel, they're not going to believe me, you know that that you sent me, or like, well, what what am I supposed to do when Pharaoh says no? And and so like, God doesn't give him a list of in you know like instructions, like okay, well you're going to say this, or you know you're you're gonna you're gonna do this. He says, hey, tell them the great I am. Yeah. Said so. Yeah. And so the whole song is really focused in and zoned in on like, hey, sometimes in life when you're struggling to find the answers and you don't know like okay I don't know what I'm supposed to do next I don't know where I'm supposed to move to I don't know you know what job I'm supposed to be taking I don't know where my next um, income is going to be coming from well the Bible tells us that if you know God if you know the great I am your provider your security everything that you will ever need then you know exactly everything that you need to know purely because you know who and so I think, sure? I think we, uh, should we do the song? Let's do it. Woo. And if you know it, sing it with us. If you know it, sing it I with like us. I like it like it. possible situations that you're finding yourself in like he's the god who 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 defies the impossible yes. you know like let's let's take it back to where the story you know the song came from it came from the time where moses was trying to figure out like i'm so afraid and i don't know if i'm gonna have the ability 
to get through what you're asking me to get through. And I don't know if I have all the tools. And God said, you have me, you have all the tools that you'll need. And I just pray, you know, over each and every one of you who's going through an impossible situation right now, like understand that you have a God who defies right. the impossible. That's right. Like he Come is, on. like through him, anything is possible. That's he ended right. up making a way through the seas. Come on, can you, can you imagine yeah. whatever sea you're going through right now? I don't know if it's, like fear or unemployment or someone is just kind of sick and hurting. I just need you to know that if you can just trust in God, that even what seems impossible right now only seems that way right now. We That's believe it and we're standing in faith with every single one of you. Come on. What that felt word. good. I feel like there's some comments like people are like yeah. saying, hey, and we're so far away. Someone says, preach such wisdom and encouragement. <laughs> really, we just really love you guys so much and we love that you get to just like join in today for yeah. real this is one of the greatest honors like of yeah, our we lives. love just like the platform that air one is creating for mm -hmm. just moments of worship and just to be together mm -hmm. in in these times so we're so grateful it is it is really really cool uh rita's asking what's the meaning of the symbol on your hat it's upside <laughs> down that is true i think i think ny is for like the new york yankees it's I don't know sports that well. I think it is the Yankees. As you can tell, I'm clearly <laughs> like, soccer is my like favorite sport. Like I grew up playing soccer, which we actually call football because we actually use our feet to play football. But that's a whole other <laughs> conversation for another day. And so I think this hat was just kind of like a gift that someone sent to me and I really love it. So I don't know what it means. Someone but I think can it's, correct this in the chat. Yeah. This I, means something. I think it means like, like it's the New York Yankees, but they I just kind of so. flipped it upside down because I don't know, they just thought that it would be cool. Um, when did IYKYK first come to mind? Um, Tiff has kind of spoken about that a little bit earlier on, but uh, we were getting ready for our youth conference at our church, and um, we really just kind of felt like, you know, our youth were getting into a season of like not knowing a world in a, just full of uncertainty, and we wanted to give them a song that like you can, if you can't be certain in what's happening in the world, you can be certain in who you have as 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 a God and as a Father and someone who loves you. So, yeah, you guys are so awesome. Keep asking us questions. Yeah. We're going to keep trying to just jump in and, like, read them and trying to answer them as best as we can. For sure. But um, let's move on to the next thing that we have planned for today. Yeah, we um, want to share one of our favorite songs with you. Yes. It's a song called Quiet. Quiet. If you like, if you're like us and you're constantly listening to Air One Radio, you've maybe heard Quiet before, Okay. And I hope you have because Tiffany sounds absolutely incredible Stop it. on that song. You do. Like, put it in the chat if you agree with me that uh -huh. Tiffany sounds absolutely incredible. I think, like, so many people have said to me, oh, my God, every time I hear Tiffany sing, I just, like, cry. So sweet. And I'm like, me too. When we were recording <laughs> the song in studio, I was, like, shedding a tear as well. So I'm like, man, like, I think God's presence for me and in my own just, mm -hmm. like, stupid you know mind just is all over that song yeah. um do you want to tell the people like how we kind of yeah came, came so up with the song we actually concept? wrote this song um david and i and then our producer and our pastor too mm -hmm. got to hop in on this one and uh basically last year when we had kind of just gotten into quarantine uh, we got together to write and just had this feeling of like it's uncertain mm -hmm. there's so much noise going on so many opinions so much just a lot just going on in mm -hmm. our world and we got together and everybody's kind of in this like isolating lonely mm -hmm. quarantine season and just felt ourselves coming to a moment of wanting to like stop all the noise yeah. and to really listen for the voice of God and to hear what he says and and really the anchor scripture of the song is Exodus fourteen fourteen, where it mm -hmm. says the Lord will fight your battles. You need only to be still. Ooh, come and on, so, Tiffany, preach. Getting to a place. Somebody place. say preach in the <laughs> chat right preach, now. Preach a preacher, preacher. But getting our, our own crazy busy minds mm -hmm. to a place where we can just silence it before God and really listen for what he's saying is the heart of the song. Yeah, and it's been really cool because um, we have, you know, obviously we have like, we have two versions of the song, so maybe... Uh, you've heard the original version, which is kind of up tempo, and really the the mind, you know, just kind of the thinking behind that. If I'm really saying it the right way, I want to say it is the verses were written in a very chaotic way, which is what mm -hmm. Tip was talking about earlier on, where like the verses feel like it's kind of like a run on sentences, like um, uh, you know, it just just kind of feels like it's fast paced. 
and then all of a sudden you get to um, just the chorus and and it opens up so the verses are like here we go again my mind racing and sliding in there you know, it's almost supposed to feel like it's frantic and you can't breathe and by the time you get to that chorus it opens up because we really want we wanted people to get to the place where like they're realizing that right now in a world where like cell phones are in our hands all the time and we're consuming voices mm -hmm. every single day like we're comparing ourselves to our friends or to people we look up to and we're comparing calling and we're reading news articles and there's just so much popping up on our feeds and so these are all voices that we're listening to that it's important for us to find a time to to stop and to say okay i'm not going to focus on all these voices right. i'm going to focus in on the voice of god and i'm going right. to be able to set a time where i can be quiet and so that's what makes that that part of the song just so quiet if you if you listen back again hopefully when air one radio plays it again wink wink nudge nudge <laughs> is that you know you you sit back and you hear it and you're like oh wow there's a there's a stillness that happens as soon as we hit the chorus and it's really meant to be a posture of the heart yeah like can you still your heart and say god i just want to be quiet in this moment and focus yeah. in on your voice above all the other noise i think we should sing it if you've heard it or if you haven't heard it I think we should sing it and let this be a time where we can really just be still before the Lord. Yep. Wherever you're at, wherever you find yourself in your house, in your room, with, you know, with your family, whatever it is, yeah. just get to a place where you can really just listen for the Lord's voice. We should sing it. I agree. Let's go. We're gonna, I'm going to take you guys to see the piano right now. Tiff is going to play. Piano. Tiff is going to play the piano. Um, I'm going to let her warm up a little bit. And while she does that, as she gets her bearings, I'm going to say hey to Waylon from Victoria, Texas. I want to say what's up to Erin in Nebraska. Um, I want to say hi to um, Rachel, Frank, just so many people, Yolanda, so many, someone else from Texas. Bridget is here from Texas. So I'm going to place you guys right here. And there we go. Ready when you are.
you know, I just want to, I want to pray for everyone just joining us right now. If you have any prayer requests, just start putting it in the chat. And, you know, I just want to just feel like, like God really just wants me to just, you know, to just pray with all of us, you know. Um, I know that we're all facing different things and we're all struggling in our own mind to try and figure out how to keep going, how to keep fighting. And I just really feel like God wants to remind you that sometimes the best thing to do is to give Him control, is to stop trying to strive in our own strength and to stop trying to just be everything and just let God be who He needs to be in your situation. And so Samantha, I'm praying for your family. Right now, God, I just thank you for Samantha. Thank you for um, just the, the fact that you're reminding her that she can trust in you, that no matter what she faces, her trust comes in you, God. And because you're with her, she and her entire family can keep moving forward. I pray for Kyle who needs some direction right now in his life, Lord. I just pray that you will give him the wisdom to continue to seek the right counsel, God, that he will turn to you and he will build his life upon you, not upon the things of this world, God. I thank you for Jamie, who has had a really just heavy week on on um, on his soul, God. I, I pray that you will just help him to just continue to see that he is not alone, that in every single situation, in every moment, your presence is a blessing, God, and that he will never ever be alone because your word tells us that that no matter where we find ourselves even in the depths of hell even if we make our beds there you are still with us god i pray for wisdom in financial decisions for pamela i pray for unspoken prayers right now god i just pray for for gray and 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 their family god i pray for family i see family coming up so much god i pray right now that anything that the enemy is trying to do against the family god that you will continue to shine your light god because you say where two or three are gathered you are right there in the midst so right now god we bring families right back to you god we pray that that you will be the center to which what families will build their relationships and their lives upon god right now i pray for uh nada's brother who was in an accident and 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 was paralyzed god we sang earlier on that you're a, you're the god of impossible situations god and we pray right now that you will be able to not just heal the souls and the fam- of the families and give them peace god but we pray for a miracle for her brother right now god only you can do the impossible so lord if you're able god and if you're willing please we pray right now together as a family that you will perform a miracle in their lives god i pray for kelly's son mark god i pray right now against anxiety that comes against school lord we're in youth ministry together we we know the pressures of of, of the teenage years god right now we just pray that you will remind her son mark that his identity comes from you, that you do not create him to be anxious, that you do not create him to have a spirit of fear, but you have given him a spirit of love and a sound mind. And so right now we pray for his mind. We pray that you will completely overwhelm any any doubts, any fears, and any insecurities in your mighty name. And for all these prayers that are just prayer requests that are happening right now, God, we pray that even though we might not be praying specifically for them, Lord, you hear the cries of every single heart you hear it lord and and i pray right now that 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 all of the cries of every mother every father every son and every daughter will not go unheard it's in your mighty name that we pray and we say amen Amen. we say amen and amen Amen. i'm so sorry y'all i just kind of really just just felt that really strongly that like we could have just spent some, some, and we could keep going forever and ever. We're going to go back and just sit and, and I don't even know what time it is. I don't know how long we've been doing this, but, um, you know, like we, we hope that, that today has been very encouraging for you. Tiff is just taking a sip of water right now because she, she was singing really her heart out. But, you know, our, our hope is Elevation Rhythm, you know, and, and our, honestly, our hope is, as Christians is that, that God will continue to to show Himself, yes, to be exactly who He was in the Old Testament for any impossible situation. We're talking Joseph in prison, Moses in in, in the desert, and, and trying to figure out how to lead millions of people um, to the promised land. We're talking about David and Goliath. There's yes. just so so many so Esther, Ruth. There's so many 
Bible stories where we see God show up in impossible situations and we're facing a pandemic and we're hearing so much about how, you know, that that's just so catastrophic to so many right. people across the nation and the world. And so we pray that that our songs and our music will be able to just bring some sort of hope and some sort of life into the situations of, of your everyday yes. life. And so we love you. We think you guys are incredible. We thank you, you know, to everyone for giving us the opportunity and the platform to just yes. jump on here and to spend some time with you. And so um, just again, like if you want to keep in touch with us, follow us on all of our social media platforms. Oh, we're on Instagram. Right? We're on YouTube. TikTok. Subscribe. TikTok. Facebook, Facebook. Like our page. Um, again, my name is David and this is Tiffany and we are from Elevation really? Rhythm and we love you. Yes, love y'all. Thanks for hanging with us for a little bit. Yep. Love worshiping with you guys. And I hear that awkward moment where I'm trying to figure out how to cancel the live. <laughs> We're just like, how do you do this? I know, I'm like, <laughs> there it is right there. Hey, Kyle, thank you. Rafa, thank you. See you guys soon.